if you remember vividly last week, we talked about what? Uh, we talked about all the whole balanced diet, the animal nutrition path. We started talking from the, the carbohydrate, I had to give you from carbohydrate down to the present water. And I told you we got all these seven classes of food. I was able to explain that to you to carry everybody along so that you can know the whole truth. You know, so we, I, I believe if you were in the last class, then you will have been able to understand the real truth about those things. We had to correct some things and then we had to talk about new things, you know. And so please, if you missed the last class, I love you to go back to it, to take your time to digest a lot of things about it and then update yourself with the new questions I've been asking. And then you can get, um, you can know the real thing and st remove old stuff away from your head. All right. All right. Today now we got to, we got to move, move ahead. If you remember when I was talking to you about the types of nutrition, I said we got plant nutrition, we got animal nutrition. So under the plant nutrition, we talked about what? The autotrophism, all right? And then under animal nutrition, we're going to talk about heterotrophism or heterotrophic, okay? So we know animal doesn't produce their own food. What do they do? They depend on the what? The autotroph. So that we call them heterotroph. People who don't manufacture their own food by themselves, okay? So I've been able to talk about that part, but there's still one more thing we must learn. And I got to teach you that today. We're not going to waste time there. I ain't, ain't going to waste time there. We'll take the time and then we'll move to today's topic immediately. Now, listen, follow me today. I need you to follow me vividly today. Oh, now, let's go. Now, it's called, no, it's still on, we're still on nutrition, okay? We're still on nutrition, all right? We're still on that nutrition. But now, what nutrition are we on today? Is that called what? Heterotrophic what? Nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition. <clears throat> now, listen to me. So we're going to be talking about this heterotrophic. And now people are going to say, what are the type of heterotrophic? The types is what we'll talk about today. The types. And basically on the types, basically on the types of um, heterotrophic nutrition, we're going to start with this brother called what? Olozoic. Olozoic, okay? Olozoic. We're going to talk about, uh, they'll say symbiosis, okay? Symbiosis. I'm going to say a lot about things here, so I want you to follow me. So symbiosis, and then we're going to talk about insectivorous. Insectivorous, or people call it carnivorous. Okay? And then apart from these, this is what we're going to talk about next. We're going to talk about uh, the, the saprophyte. They call it saprophytism, okay? Saprophytism, all right? Now, if you go into your books, your textbooks, your textbooks, they'll be giving you, you see the part where we talk about mutualism. You get it? They talk about mutualism, they'll talk about commensalism, but the reality is everything is under symbiosis. So that's why you're here to learn the real thing the real truth, what biology is made about, okay? So that's why you might have read something, you say, oh man, this man didn't even put uh, mutualism, this man didn't even put commensalism, what's the same? But the reality is what I'm telling you is that the, the mutualism and the commensalism you're trying to talk about is under symbiosis, okay? So learn from there. And then parasitism too is under what? Symbiosis. Are we good? Now, so, superfetism, and now, we're going to start with one of them, one by one, one after the word, the order. I need you to pay a good attention. Get your note, get to jerk. Go back again to repeat the class so that you can get the gist about it. All we are doing in biology classes with gist. You understand? We gist, we talk, we get the point, and then we come out in flying colors in our exams. You understand me? So now let's start with what? A lozoic now. Now, everybody used to think Olozoic, Olozoic is autotrophism. No, it is not autotrophism. 
You see, one thing you must know, you see this autotrophism, they used to call it another name itself. They call it what? Olophytic. Do you get me? Why some say allophytic? It's all what? Olophytic. Do you get? So when you hear something olophytic, then they're talking about, oh, there are those some people, organisms that can manufacture their own word, food. But when you hear olozoic, you are the one that is known as what? Olozoic. Your type of nutrition. How do you feed? How do you eat? Do you get me? So an olozoic organism would tend to do extracellular what now? Feed in. You got to take food into your mouth before it goes into your what? Your stomach. That's what we call intracellular feeding. But we understand we do what now? Intracellular what? Digestion. You get me? But how do you feed extracellular? That's how you feed. Did you get my point? You're feeding extracellular. So that's it. So all the zoic are for organisms like what? Humans that do what now? Extracellular type of what? Feeding. Example, gold sheep. You get me? Gold sheep. Humans, your lions, do you understand? This is where we will now say, okay, maybe we can try to talk about those times I was talking about consumers, whereby I will say, we well, have my consumer, tertiary consumer, and all that. So when I was talking about here, under Olozoic, so I'm going to be putting it here now. Olozoic, organisms that feed extracellular, okay, damage, they get the source of food from the world, environment, they feed in. Do you get me? So, Example of all zoic animals are man himself, man, goat, sheep, okay? Goat, sheep, do we get me? Goat, sheep, those are examples of them, eat to see. Are we together now? And now, and then you must understand that this guy is extracellular type of what? Feeding, extracellular type of feeding, how they feed. Don't mistake it. Don't mistake it for this word. There's extracellular digestion, okay? And intracellular word, digestion. This one is telling you how does digestion take place. Okay? Are we together? All right. So, are we good? So, please get, get a point here. So, now, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to what? The symbiosis. Let's move to symbiosis now. Symbiosis. Symbiosis, okay? Under the symbiosis, they're talking about how some what? How some organism are to feed. Do you get me? How some organism are to feed. They have to go into an association before they can what? They can feed. Now, I need to correct you. So many things you guys put into your... Your cerebrum, so many books you've read. You said the right thing is what you need to know now. You said this thing called symbiosis is, is not the same thing as what mutualism. Please get the right thing. It's not. Symbiosis is like a father to every of this word, of the type of word of association you've been told. Are we together now? Now, see, symbiosis is the word relationship. I'm defining it for you so that you can get it. Symbiosis is a relationship that must occur between two organisms, okay? Number one, two organisms, okay? And, it, they are, and which word, whereby the association can either be beneficial or can be harmful. Do you get me? It can either be beneficial or what? Harmful. In summary, symbiosis is the father of all world association. That's it. Do you keep a point? Are you guys with me? Are you with me? Are you guys with me? Because you need a, yeah, good. And I, I love that response. Thank you so much. Now, I need you to get that point. Take that agenda off your head. The symbiosis is the same thing as mutualism. Back in the days, in the 1980, in the 1990, in the 2000s, 2000 to 2006, 65, they understand this. They knew this. They didn't get the whole story of this yet. But presently now, they know the story. If you're still going to write West African examination, or you're still going to be writing all this, um, the, 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 the West African examination, the, the, um, the all those Europe countries exam, you need to take your mindset here and learn. 
Even Jam has updated himself. So you better learn. They understand symbiosis is not the same thing as what? Mutualism. So, symbiosis is what I've defined to you. An association that must occur between two organisms. Whereby they are either benefiting or it could be what? Armful. Do you understand? And that's why I said in a nutshell, in a nutshell, it means that every other word association goes under this guy. Symbiosis. So you can say this is the father of the what? You can call it the father of what? The father of the associations. For some people do that didn't get the definition that said is the type of relationship, type of relationship whereby two organisms go into an association, go into an association where it can be harmful or what? Beneficial. Do you get it now, please? After today, when you go outside and then you're speaking and you hear people say symbiosis is the same thing as mutualism, you school them, you educate them because you now have the knowledge. Do you understand? You got the knowledge now. Pass the knowledge around. Now, and symbiosis, so that you cannot say, oh, types of what? Symbiosis, okay? Types of symbiosis. Now, what is symbiosis? See, this thing, what? This word, types of symbiosis. I need to also, we've corrected this, so let's move forward a bit. This is where I'm going. In, in various schools, they will have told you, you have now mutualism, okay? You got commensalism. You got parasitism. Okay. Number four. You got what they call what? They will have said predation. There's a competition. But no, so wrong. That's not it. You got only four. You only have mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, and what? And mensalism. I'm in salism. That's what you have. Mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, and I'm in salism. That's the four you have. I'm going to show you why it's four you get. So that you can see that, then you, you can see why competition and you, all of them, why it shouldn't go here. Do you understand? I'm going to show you why is this. I'm going to show it to you now. Watch this. I'm going to put an, an acronym here, uh, a, a symbol here for mutualism. This is M. Mutualism means, look at this sign. This means what? Positive plus positive. Do we get it now? A positive and positive. I'll tell you why I'm using that. We got commensalism. I'm using C. Commensalism is what? Positive and what? Being unaffected. We got no. The third one is what? Parasitism. I'm going to use P. MCP. This is what? And then I'm going to use A. MCP. And then that's what? Look at it. Now, what am I saying here? I'm saying that mutualism, two organisms, they benefit from what? Each order. Commensalism, one benefit, one is what? Unaffected. Are we together? Then parasitism, one is what? Benefiting, and one person is what? Affected. Are we good now? And then we talk about amensalism, the person is unaffected, but one person is what? Affected. Do you get me? So, as a parasitism, one is benefiting, and the other person is what? Affected. I mean, sadism, eh? the other person is not affected. One person is unaffected, and this person is affected. So, if I would define mutualism, I would say it's a relationship whereby two organisms will go into an association whereby they are benefiting from what? Each other. Order. You get the gist. Whereby they are all benefited from what? Each word's order. You get the gist now. Now, 
Let's give examples. I, I, I give examples for you. A good example. A good example. And then we'll quickly move away from there. I'll talk about the, the nutrition aspect of parasitism. I have to talk about it. Okay? Now, um, so, mutualism, a good example, you know your leaching. Look at it. A good example of this leaching, mycorrhiza. Leaching is a relationship between algae and fungi. Algae, fungi, all right? And algae and fungi, they go into a relationship. The algae doesn't have a root, but it can produce food. While the fungi has a structure, which is called what? A4. Okay, A4. And he uses that as a word, as a supporting system for the word, for the algae. So the combination of leaching is algae plus word. Plus what? Plus fungi. All right? The combination of this guy is what? Your leguminous root plant. And what? And our gaze. Are we good now? We good? Now. That's for mutualism. Commensalism, you know. Remember our fish and what? And shark. Katsu and what? Egret, those are good examples. Also, rumin um, also the bacteria and the stomach of humans and what? And humans themselves is commensalism, not mutualism. Okay? That is the ruminant animals and the bacteria that is what? Mutualism. Are we together? Good. Now, let's go to the one I'm talking about. Um, let's go to the one I'm talking about. Let's talk about parasitism now. The one I'm more concerned about, I'll tell you about this too. Hold on. Now, parasitism, I'm going to ask you a good question. Parasitism now, we got hook, we got soccer, we got um, cardical. Now, I want to ask you this good question. And you guys have to give me a good answer. Or I need to you to give me whatever you think is the answer. Don't worry. We'll sit here. We all have worms in our stomach, yes or no? I believe we know we have worms, right? Good. We have worms, right? Good. Now, tell me why the worms in our stomach is not dead. Because we were told in the stomach that there is HCL, an acid in our stomach, right? There's an acid in our stomach, right? Good. And... We, and those worms still are not dead. Why is those worms in our stomach not killed by the acid? Who has an answer? Somebody has to give me an answer. Why is the worms in our stomach not dead? We have HCL. We all know, most of you are chemistry students. HCL, a very strong word, acid. It's found in your stomach, and there is a worm there, which is not hurt by that acid. Why? Give me an answer, anybody. Whatever you think the answer is, you have to reason now. Take time, reason something, but I must get your opinion. Who has something to say? Reason it out. Anybody? Okay, good. You've said something nice. Maybe the tapeworm has a neutralizing agent. Somebody say something like that. Okay, any other person? Somebody have said, is it because it has a neutralizing agent? Okay, so somebody else. All right, let me hear you. I'm listening. Anybody? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, the mucous membrane is not affected. Okay, okay. All right, we got two answers. Any other person? Anybody? Anybody? 